Today on Analog Generation, we try to finish up the body and get ready for paint. Okay, so the weather is rapidly deteriorating on us as uh, fall is rolling in and it's getting colder and colder. I was hoping to have the uh, body painted by now, but uh, just everything's taking a little bit longer than I had hoped. Um, so I'm going to try and get this last kind of any body work done to the outside. Uh, we're going to work on that today. Maybe we'll get it done. Maybe we won't. We'll have to see how it goes, but uh, that's what we're going to work on. So. Let's get started. So Mackenzie's back helping me and uh, uh, we're going to start just taking apart the uh, trunk lid so we can prep it uh, by sanding it down and taking care of any uh, surface rust or anything that's on here. It looks to be in pretty good shape. There's a couple spots where the paint was bubbling a bit, but I think it, uh, I think it's just on the surface. So uh, hopefully anyways, we'll find out more as we take it apart. So it's pouring rain out now and uh, it makes it kind of tough because uh, to work on the car properly I have to move things outside and it uh, doesn't work very well when it's pouring rain. So while the rain is here I'm going to try and uh, work on some little pieces that I need to recreate to finish up the body. One of them is this piece that holds the uh, kind of rear panel to the bottom of the car, uh, the spare tire compartment. So uh, that's what I'm going to work on now.
Okay, so I've got it kind of roughed out. It's uh, just a little bit larger than the original piece, uh, but I can trim that down if I need to. Uh, but basically, that's how you uh, create a, uh, a piece like that without a uh, proper shrinker and bender. Um, it's uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's going to get the job done. So I'm going to trial fit it now. A lot of people might be thinking, why did I use uh, that rusty sheet metal to make this piece? Uh, and my only excuse is I have a bunch of uh, sheet metal left over from another project that uh, has some surface rust on it. So that's what I'm using. I'm using it basically because that's what I got. Um, so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to use some rust converter just over this before I install it. Uh, so I will put some rust converter on here, let it sit and uh, treat the rust and then I'll put some rust through primer on both sides of this as well before I install it. So. I got all excited there and I forgot to turn the camera on so I uh, didn't show the final installation of that piece but I'll bring the camera in and just show you uh, how it looks now that it's installed and then uh, be moving on to the next project okay so here it is installed um, I'm happy with what, the way it turned out I think it's gonna do the job and stabilize the rear end of the car I've got to do uh, a bit more body work to this back end before we are ready for paint but uh, that was something that needed to get done before I could really get started so okay so the next thing I'm gonna work on is uh, kind of the corner here is kind of rusted out uh, it's all beat up, so I'm just going to uh, trace a little bit of a template here, and uh, then I'll cut this corner out and replace the metal. Right, so I got uh, both of these corners basically patched up uh, and ready for body filler now. Um, this, so basically this rear section, all the rest repairs are basically done now. Um, it's just a matter of uh, doing the body work and this should be ready for paint. Uh, but uh, basically I've run out of time again today so that's where I'm going to end this episode. Um, I, yeah, once again, I didn't get as much done as I was hoping, but, uh, partly due to the weather, I was a little bit tight on space today, so, um, but, uh, yeah, it's slowly it's coming, so, uh, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out, uh, the more subscriptions I get, the, uh, uh, more videos I can get out, as I mentioned before, so, um, I appreciate that, and uh, see you next time on Analog Generation.